Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about uh, conditional probability. Um, and we're going to use this formula here basically. So um, what does this mean? Well, P is for, you know, stands for probability and we're going to look at two events A and B. So this line here as well is in our form, so that just means given, um, given that. So in other words, we're talking here about the probability of A given that B has already occurred. So B has happened, what's the probability that A is going to happen? So something has happened, what's the probability that something else is going to happen? So this is just in, you know, set notation is, would be the cardinal number of A intersection B divided by the cardinal number of B, or the probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. So let's look at an example of that, um, how we would actually use it in practice. So <clears throat> first example, I'm going to do two examples. First example is just going to be about um, a fair-sided, six-sided dice, okay? So you've got a dice, um, or a die, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sample space for a six-sided dice. This is, um, these are all the outcomes that are possible when you throw a six-sided dice. So <coughs> the question that's going to be asked here is, what is the probability um, that the score we get is a prime number given that the score is odd. So in other words, we throw a, a die and the score is going to be odd. What is the probability that the score is a prime number? So the score is odd, what's the probability that it's going to be a prime number? So. Um, the way you would write that down is P prime given that it's odd. So what is the probability that we get a prime number given that, we, that we've got an odd number? So let's have a look at that and see how that works. That's um, the probability of prime and odd divided by the probability of it being odd. If you apply the formula here, A intersection B, intersection means and, and then we want B here and B here, so odd here and odd here. Remember here, just um, this notation here, intersection is and, and union is or. Union is related to the word or, and intersection is related to the word and so we have intersection here so it's and prime and odd divided by the probability of it being odd so let's um, stick in the numbers here and see what we get um, first of all we've got on the top the probability of it being prime and odd so let's have a look at that first of all well, we've got, um, how many odd numbers have we got? Well, we've got that one, that one, and that one. We've got three odd numbers here. One, three, and not six, that's not odd. We have uh, five is odd, six is not odd, obviously. So the yeah, three odd numbers are one, three, and five. Now, what, which one of those are prime, prime numbers? Well, we have uh, 1, which is not a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, so 2 of these numbers are prime. So of our uh, 3 odd numbers, we have 2 of them prime. So in total, we have 2 prime numbers. So let's put that into our formula here. The probability of it being prime and odd is 2. We have 6 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers to choose from altogether. So it's 2 over 6. And what about the bottom then? What's the probability of getting an odd number? The probability of getting an odd number is, let's see, we've got 1 odd number, 2 odd numbers, 3 odd numbers. So that's 3 out of 6 in total. So we have to work that out. We've got a fraction divided by a fraction. So it's 2 over 6 multiplied by this number inverted. Remember, dividing by fractions, flip the bottom one and multiply. So that's 6 over 3. So if we do that, that's 6 
cancel and that six will cancel and you're left with two thirds. So our probability that we are going to get a prime number given that we've got an odd number is two thirds. Okay, so that's the first example. Let's have a look at another one. Now in this case, we're going to look at a maths teacher who gives uh, a couple of tests. So let's have a look um, at the figures here. We've got, um, first of all, we've got two tests and we are told that 24% of the class pass, they pass both tests. So 24% of the class pass both tests. Now, 40% of the class, they passed the first test. So 40% of the class passed the first test, and 24% of the class passed both tests. So we want to know then what percentage of those who passed the first test also passed the second test. What percentage of those who passed the first test also passed the second test? Okay, so how do we write that down first of all? So what we've got is, um, let's see, the probability. We want to know what the probability of passing uh, past the second test We'll just write second test here, given that they passed the first test. So we want to know what's, what is the probability of passing the second test, given that you passed the first test. Okay, so we just write that out then, given our formula if you like. So we've got the probability of passing the second test and the first divided by the probability of passing the first one. Okay, so let's just stick the numbers in here. Um, okay, so we write equals here. So um, the probability of passing the second and the first is well, if 24% pass both tests, so the probability of passing the second and the first is 0 0.24. Okay, the probability of passing the first test is remember 40% pass the first test, so the probability of passing the first test is 0 0.4. So that gives us when you when you work that out, you get 0 0.6. So that's 60%. So the probability of passing the second test, given that you've already passed the first test, is 60%. Uh, and that's it.